Hi, I'm Adi Gill. I'm the person who bought Sea Shepherd, the uh, trimaran, the one that went down to Antarctica and unfortunately was sunk by the Japanese after a month and a half. A few weeks ago, I heard that the restaurant here, the Hum, was serving whale meat and I was called to come over to a protest. I did not know exactly what happened, but then later on found out that the people from the cove were inside with cameras and they found out that actually this thing is happening and they are uh, really serving whale meat which was not on the menu. So after the first protest which had about 150-200 people, I decided I'm going to camp here with my minivan, a video projector and a screen right in front of the restaurant every day and let people know that's what's going on. Uh, the idea was also to make the connection between the hump which served the, all these exotic animals and the typhoon and the connection is that the same person owned both restaurants. And so we've been here now for about uh, a week, a little bit over, right? And when they ask me how long are you going to be here, I said, I don't know, maybe year 2015. You know, basically the idea is that we are make we made a commitment to be here and met, let people know that this restaurant is ser served whale meat and other endangered species. Uh, so now we just heard that the Hump, which is the restaurant on the top, is closing as of tomorrow. I heard uh, that is uh, maybe one part of the battle because there's really no guarantee that Brian, who owns both restaurants, will not take his recipes from the hump and just bring it down one floor below and feed his uh, regular customers, not through the menu, but just on his little secret recipes, all of his uh, endangered species or be cruel to animals, like drink turtle blood and things like that, or horse meat and all that. So now there is a, we don't exactly know which direction to take yet, but we're going to figure that out. Did he have to admit where he got the whale meat from? I do not exactly know the answer to that question. I, I know it's an illegal trade, but how he actually got it, I don't know. And I bet he didn't really say because, you know, he would go to trial. I don't think he will uh, volunteer that information to anybody. Right. And, you know, it seems like if he got whale meat here, whale meat must be being served at other restaurants throughout the United States too, perhaps. I would imagine that if somebody's bringing whale meat into the United States, they will not only bring it to one restaurant called The Hump. There are probably tons of whale meat around this country. It would be tough to find, though. But, you know, I wasn't the one that found this to begin with, and maybe the people that found it will find a way to find the other restaurants that do the same. So that was the, the fellow who was the producer of The Cove? The, yeah. The initial investigation? Yeah, it was the producer of the cove with his team that came here with their uh, hidden cameras. Some of them were the size of like a button. And then they had the FBI on the outside. And the FBI were texting to them and they were texting back and they said, We're getting now whale meat. And then it, I, I don't exactly know all the details, but they got the evidence from that uh, sting operation.